Snapchat is an app used by millions of people to share images and photos in a fleeting nature. And while for the most part it's used in a very innocent context, every once in a while the information it receives can be used to solve a murder, which is what we'll be discussing today. ...of being in the dark. Regardless of that, however, today we'll be discussing a phenomenon in the online world where an internet celebrity isn't who they say they are. They could come off as kind and well-meaning, but in the background they are doing some messed up stuff, and the example we'll be discussing today in detail is of Juwario. The early days of the internet were a very strange time period indeed. Back then, no one quite knew the full potential of this new platform, and because of that a lot of hoaxes and mysteries were spread around, the biggest of these being the fake 9-11 victim. This very day in 2011, I made the Lavender Town Theory, which was my big break on YouTube. And because of that, every single year on this very day, I make a new video celebrating my first big success. When trying to come up with ideas of what I could do this year, I thought what better than going back to my roots and talking about a video game Pokemon Theory. And today, I have a really good one, which is the mystery of the ghost girl of Lumio City. In an age where people can fake just about anything on the internet, there are also others that try to expose those same individuals. So you may be thinking, a person would have to be insane to try to fake their death in the age of the internet, especially if they're a YouTuber with hundreds of thousands, if not millions of followers. But that is exactly what some people have done. And today we're going to review two of these cases. For years, we have been telling children never to talk to strangers, especially those they meet on the internet. But what happens if they're not actually strangers, but rather YouTubers that they see on a daily basis? Well, today we'll be discussing two examples of these cases, where these creators are not as they seem. Hey, my mighty friends, Tim here. Now for the number one, I don't want to scare you. I don't want any of you to feel weird, uncomfortable, even though um, I don't know how you guys will feel from watching the number one. So I I don't know. Um, maybe I, I, I just do it. In recent times, there has been a lot of talk about psychopathic killers going on rampages. And then the aftermath, people find all the crazy stuff they were posting on YouTube, Twitter or Instagram. But this is honestly not a new occurrence. In fact, killers have been posting on the internet for many years now. And today, I want to talk about a very early occurrence of this, which is Mr. Anime. 